This tutorial will cover logging and transferring in Final Cut Pro. First you're going to want to use proper file management so we will open up the finder and you're going to make a folder. We always name our folders with the date first, your last name, and something descriptive. We're going to call this log and transfer. Now that we have our folder we're going to open up Final Cut Pro and we're going to save a project file into the folder. Remember the project file will be saving the editing work that you do. It is not a video file so that's save project as and we're going to navigate to our folder and again we're going to date this. So now that we have our project file saved in our project folder we're going to set our scratch disk. The scratch disk is where the video files are transferred to on the hard drive. So it's taking it from an SD card and it's going to be under system settings set and then it's going to be putting it on the hard drive from the SD card in this location. So we're going to navigate to the hard drive spot we want and that's going to be that project folder. Everything under the same folder and we choose it. You can double check right here now that our scratch disk is set, we're going to say OK and connect an SD card to the machine. So that's a USB cable and you plug your SD card in and once you plug it in, you're going to want to hide Final Cut Pro Command H and check and make sure it appears on your desktop. If the card doesn't appear on the desktop, you're going to want to try plugging it into another USB slot or you can try another card reader. Um, if that if you can't figure it out after that you make sure you ask me for help on that one so here it is it comes up under devices there's our SD card you don't have to ever go in into any of these subfolders they always stay the same as long as it's formatted in the camera so we'll go back to Final Cut Pro and then we're going to log and transfer that's under the file menu and we are going to either hit command shift 8 there's the key command or hit click on log and transfer I'll click on it for now and then we're going to add the SD card to this um, to our login transfer window. It says add folder. So you click that button and select no name. You don't have to click any of the subfolders. Just say open. And that should populate in here. Sometimes it takes up to two minutes. Okay, so now here are our clips populating in the window. You can see a thumbnail preview of the clip. It'll also tell you the length of the clip, the media duration. If you single click the clip, you can play it and watch what's been recorded. Um, if you wanted to transfer one clip, you can click and drag the clip where it says drag media here. That'll transfer it. If you wanted to there's another way you could do it by just saying add selection to queue that'll add another clip or if you wanted to transfer all of them you could single click click one of the clips and say command A and then that will select all of them and then you can say add selection to queue and that will add all of them I'm actually going to cancel all of these or pause my transfers and I'm going to go into the queue shift click down to the bottom and delete the rest of them and then I will resume this and let's say I only wanted to transfer part, part of a clip so I can select one of the clips I can play it here and pick the best part so I'll find the in point that I'd like to be set and then let's say I only want the first couple seconds of it and this is the out point that I'd like to be set and then I can say add clip to queue and it'll only transfer that short clip that I selected. So that's logging and transferring and you'll see that once a clip has been transferred there will be a filled in circle here. If a clip has not been transferred there will be an empty circle. So once you have your clips transferred they will appear in your browser window behind. When you're done you can close this window. I'm actually going to pause this and close this window and say uh, we're going to lose the information that I partially transferred. And now I have one clip in the timeline, and you can begin your editing by dragging it down to the timeline. 